Hello and welcome, I'm Xam and today we are going to talk about tile sets and palettes. So, what are tile sets? If you open your map 16 editor and click on the question mark block, you will see multiple pages with different graphics. If you now press F1, you will see that these pages are separated. So, this is one tile set, and this is one tile set, and these two are tile sets. What does that mean? If you check out the block, for example, this ledge piece, it has four different graphic positions. 182, 183, 192 and 193. If you go back to this editor here and check out this little section here and search for 182, you would see that it's this block here and 183 is this block and 192 is this block and 193 is this block. It doesn't mean that this block looks every time like that, but it's actually a pointer. What do I mean by that? If you go to level 10A, you will see that the graphics here are different and also the block is different because it's just a pointer and not like the, the look of the block. When you click on the purple poisonous mushroom, there will be two options. Change foreground background graphics and change sprite graphics. When you click on the change foreground background graphics, there will be a lot of options. But these are not tile sets, but these are tile set combination. You can change these tiles here separately, the top part and the bottom part. But when you choose something from here, it will change both of them at the same time. So you don't have to search around. Let's check out the underground. Underground 1. You will see that the top part has changed and the bottom part has changed. And also your graphics here and your graphics here obviously. But the color is messed up, but we will fix that later on. It's the exact same thing with sprites. If I check out the sprite section and go to tile set specific sprites, there will be some sprites, for example the Rex, carrot top lift upper right, carrot top lift upper left. If I go back to the poisonous blue mushroom, there will be a second option, as I said, uh, which will say change sprite, sprite graphics. So, if we change it now from Benzai Bill to Forest, for example, you will see that you now have different ki kind of sprites. For example, the Wiggler. But you will also see that, for example, the Rex right here, which we placed before, is now completely messed up. So now we will get in the more complicated stuff. If we go back to our map 16 editor and go back to the 8x8 tile editor, we can press F1 again and we will see that this tile set here is called 01A and it's in foreground 3. And the top part is background 1 and it's called 00C. The bottom part is always for the foreground and the top part is always for the background. Now let's search for a castle level. So this, gra this castle level got the foreground 18, foreground 3, 18. We will keep that in mind. And we want this background. It's background 1, 19. So if we now click on the red poisonous mushroom, we will see a window. If we click on the enable bypass of standard foreground, background, right graphics, there will be a lot of new options. They always start with foreground 1, foreground 2, background 1, foreground 3, background 2, background 3, and sprites 1 to 4. When you go back to this window and scroll all the way up, you will see that it says here foreground 1, 14, foreground 2, 17, background 1, C, foreground 3, 1A. And when you remember the castle foreground 3 should be 18. So we're gonna change foreground 3 to 18 and background 1 was 19. If we now press OK, you will see that we have a castle looking foreground and we got our nice background back. And the same workflow works with the sprites. So first we're gonna delete them all because there are some glitchy ones. We click on open add sprites and now there will be this uh, cloud here. If we click on the cloud there will be a lot a lot of sprites which are all looking very glitchy. Boo, eerie. 
For example, in this level I want the ninji. When I click on the ninji you will see the graphic is totally messed up, but on the left top corner it will say sprites for 0e. So we're gonna press on the red mushroom again, go to sprite 4 and go to 0e. Click OK and you will see that the sprite is now ready to use. When you now click back on the cloud, you will see which other sprites works with this tile set. So, for example, Ninji, where we can use the bouncing football in place, and we also can use the the chuck who throws the footballs. But as you can see, since we changed the tile set, some graphics are very messed up. That's just how you have to deal with it, since in the castle there are no slopes, even though we use some slopes here. So, but as you already realize when you open the red mushroom again, you will see that there is background 2 and background 3. These two are completely open for your desire. You can put anything you want inside. For example, we have here the castle foreground, but if we put in 15 in background 2, we will also have the grass foreground. Go back to your map 16 editor, 8x8 editor and go to background 2 page and you will see that these are the grass graphic. They're kinda messed up and you have to put them one by one together then change the, the color but they're here, you can still use them but actually there's a better way for this one. If you use a normal tile set for example this is a normal castle tile set like the foreground and this is a normal foreground for grass, you can actually just copy the whole page, the normal page, search an empty page and click remap. What remapping is? So basically you shift all numbers of the graphics here by the amount you put in. In this example we have 180, tile 180, it says right down here on the top left and we want it to be 200. So you might think it's 20, but in, it's in hex, so I would recommend you to use a calculator, go in programming, go to hex, 200 minus 180 is actually 80. So we put in 80 and now we have the normal graphics from this tile set here. Some of them are here messed up because they actually use the top graphics but you can still use them here, the normal graphics. So that's kind of everything I can tell you about tile sets. Now we're going to change the palettes because as you can see this is supposed to be castle foreground but it looks kind of not so good. If we click here on the open palette editor, it's a star, rainbow star you will find the palette editor. Here you have all your palettes. If you open your map 16 again and choose any block, for example this one, go to palette 00, zero it will go this row here. Then 1, it's going to be this one here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So palette 7 is the last one because everything under it is for the price. As you can see there are many many options here again. You can change the back area color here. For example this blue, I like this blue. Then you can change the foreground palette. And we want this one here because that's the castle one. You can change the background color. I like this one here. But that's not all of it. You can actually change every color in with individual. But before you do that, I would recommend you to enable custom palette for this level. Because when you don't do that and you will save and something has like the same foreground, palette 3, it will change in the whole ROM and you just want to change this level right now. So we have this foreground and when you click on it this here, you see it's palette 2. So 0, 1, 2, so the third row. You can click on any color and then there is a color window. It's like uh, the same from paint, 
you can just drag something around then go darker or lighter saturation is done with the height of the coloring tool if i want my my background to be my foreground to be darker i just click on the first one do darker maybe i like it a little bit more bluish um, with control left click and then control right click somewhere you will copy the same color I want the same color but I want it lighter here and now again I take this color again and right click somewhere and I repeat as much I like now the, here are these two rows this one is the basic white color and this is the basic black color so the black color is obviously the, the outline so I want the outline to be very dark blue and not black because I like the dark blue more than the black and the white part I don't want to be completely white but a little bit bluish white now as you can see this is supposed to be grass but it's still using um, palette 2 so it's bluish so what can I do I select everything and don't select palette 3 but I can select palette 3 for example now it's reddish or I can select palette 1 it will be pink and blue because that's this one here so what I'm going to do I'm going to select this one and make it actually normal grass again So something like that. Now I have my um, my grass back, which I liked, and I can place it anywhere and combine it with the castle tile set. And that's for the coloring. But there is more in the palette editor. For example, exporting level palette to file. I can click it. Now the game is going to ask me to give my file a name. For example, I just call it 05 for the level number. And when I enter another level, for example 106, I can click on import level palette for file. And then I can choose my palette and you will see that the palette is now the same. But I can also just export a little segment of my palette. For example, when I click on palette mask editing mode, and then I click on palette mask and disable every color except for the top row. So I just left click on the axis and then I click on expert level, save it again. Go to the level I want to import this part, click on import and you will see that I inserted just this segment of the whole palette. So now a little demonstration what I can do with all these informations. So this is what I came up with, really nothing special. Um, I added some edge pieces for the new color scheme. Um, I added a little bit more darker castle theme, like I have the light one and the darker now. I added the pillars, I got them in this tile set here, in the castle tile set on the right. And then I added like the spikes, which are from the same tile set. Okay, let's test it. So Really cool, I got some uh, grass and the castle and it's all mixed up in one level. That's it for today's video, I hope you guys like it. And if you want to see more, write it down in the comments and let me know. Bye bye.